waste any time in here. Go secure our guests and make sure those two don't get in this house. If you find Sheridan Crane or Chris Booth, I want you to shoot to kill. I want those two interlopers dead. Do you hear me? If you see them, shoot to kill. doesn't get you a bonus. Is she dead or not? I don't. Damn it, I lost a shot. Sheridan, are you here? Answer me. Sheridan. Sheridan, you can't be dead. I love you too much. Thank God. I thought you were dead. Stay down. I don't want the gunman. He's can't give him another shot. I saw him aiming before he shot. I must have hit my head on a rock. Well, there's a cut. Can you function? Well, I've been hit on the head many times before, Mr. Booth. Well, the last time, if I can help it. Where'd they go? Open. We can get into the house. You sure you still want to go through this? I can't live without my son. Okay, and on my count. Right. One, two, three. Marty! It's mommy! Marty! Marty! With any luck, we'll find Beth, too. Oh, and I know just what to do with her. Sorry, Mr. Cross, I missed it. Not only are they alive, they're in the house. Where did they get in? Side door near the bedroom. Where our guests are located? Everybody to the West Wing, we have intruders. Go, go! Marty, answer me, sweetheart. There's no sign of him. Marty! You found him? Marty. I mean, look, is it Marty? Oh, yes. Look, travel itineraries, documents. Look at the date. Beth and Marty are still here. You were right. Oh, God, I can't believe how close we are. It's been so long since I've seen Marty. Well, then it's us up. Marty's here. 
Let's go find him. You're right. Let's go find him. I know he's here. My dear Miss Crane, you aren't going anywhere. Otto Kraus. At your service. Where's Marty? I want my son back. Now, Kraus. That's out of the question. You'll never see Marty again. No! Give me my son. That's impossible. You'll never see your son again. Damn it, Kraus. Just do it. I don't take orders from you, Booth. Was Alistair Crane's daughter. I'm ordering you to get Marty and give him to me. I only take orders from Mr. Crane. Well, my father is in a coma right now, so I'm in charge. Give me my son. I know Mr. Crane is in a coma, but his orders still stand, and you will never see your son again. Look, if it's money you want, just name your price and I'll pay it. You can be set for life. Your father's already seen to that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. We're not leaving without Sheridan's son. Actually, you are. I'm in the main room with two special guests. Please, come and show them the hospitality they deserve. You won't get away with this, Kraus. People know that Sheridan and I are in Hawaii. Doesn't matter. The game's over, and you lost. I did not come all this way to leave without my son. Now give me Marty back! Oh. Oh. Chris, be careful! Chris, stop it! We've got to find Marty! Chris! No! Oh my god! Chris! Let's get out of here. Never mind me, Sheridan and Booth just got away. We have to find them before they find our guests. This way. Where'd they go? You don't suppose they found his room, do you? Oh, God, I hope not. Come on. Shh. I think I hear them. Yeah, only they're not behind us. No, they're not. Sheridan and Booth are still at large inside the compound. Under no circumstances can they be allowed to find this room, so keep our guests quiet. Come on. Did you hear what Otto said? Keep our guests quiet. <sighs> it means Beth and Marty must be in that room. Did you hear what Otto said about their guests? Marty must be in here. Where else can it be? Oh, my God. Marty's bedroom. We found him. We finally found my son. <sighs> Search every nook and cranny. We can't let Sheridan find our guests. Look, it's Marty's nursery. 
the toys. That must be his bed. Come on, let's go. Oh, what if it's a trap? No, my son is in there, and I'm finally going to get him back. the other way around. Stop. Did we lose him? Not for long. But we gotta get out of here. No, I have to find Marty. Come on. Get them! This way. say you two are cornered. I want to see my son. You'll never see him again. Don't shoot him, fire! Let's split up. No, no, Sheridan's the one we want. Let's capture her and use her to capture her white knight. Sheridan, your life is over. <gasps> no! No! There's no Escape, my dear. Let me go! Get me my son! Unless you're complete monsters, you'll at least let me see him! I'm sorry, my dear Sheridan. That simply won't be possible. Damn you! Uh, let me see my son! I said no. Please, please let me see him. Let me hold him, even if it's for the last time, please. For the love of God! Everyone, keep searching. Did you hear me? All of my men are out searching the house and grounds for your new husband. And once they find him, both of you are dead. Don't worry, Sheridan. I'll get you and Marty out of this hellhole if it's the last thing that I do. I want to see my little boy. All I want is five minutes with him. That's all I ask, and then you can do whatever you want with me. Any sign of the husband? He's certain to come to her rescue. When he does, capture him. Then we can eliminate both of them. I haven't done anything to you. Why won't you let a mother be with her son? Not even listening. He's just biding the time before they kill her. I've gotta get her out of there. Have you ever lost someone that you love? Don't you have any children of your own? There's only one way to get to her in time. I know you can't be so cold-hearted. It would appear that your groom has decided to forfeit your life to save his own. Haven't you heard a word that I've said? <laughs> what kind of a man abandons his own wife in her time of need? You married a coward. Chris is no coward. He would never abandon me to a pig like you. <laughs> then where is he? Surely he would have ridden to your rescue if he had any intention of doing so. Chris isn't afraid of you or your thugs. In fact, you know what? I hope he doesn't come to my rescue. 
I hope he saves himself so that when all this is over, he can rescue Marty and take care of him. Oh my God! Get it! Chris! Chris, be careful! We gotta hurry. Don't let him get away. I can't believe you did that. You're bleeding. It's nothing. Did they hurt you? No, no, I'm fine. We gotta get out of here. Not without Marty. We can't get him now, Sheridan. They're right on our heels. He's somewhere in this house. This way. There's no time. No, Chris, we've gotta get back to the nursery. Come on, let's go. That's it. That's the door to the nursery. Voice down. Might be a trap. I know that's it. Marty's in there. I just know it. My son is in there. I know it. Even if you're right, we don't know if he's alone. You're right. Beth could be in there, too. Come on, let's go inside. I just want to be extra careful. You do it. These things, these are boys' things. They're not necessarily Marty's. Yes, they are. I gave this to him. I gave this to him before anyone believed that he was my son. Beth must have brought it with him when she kidnapped him. He's here, Chris. Marty is somewhere in this house. couple before they escape the grounds and whatever you do they can never see the nursery we can't stay they'll be looking for us here but marty someone's in there Is that Beth's voice? I can't tell. But whoever it is, it sounds like they're singing to a child. Oh my God. Chris, my son is on the other side of this door. I don't understand how we lost them. We'll find the boss. They can't be far. You better hope to God they're not in the nursery. If Sheridan and her new husband find the nursery, it's all over. We understand the danger, boss. Like split up. Find Sheridan and Chris before they discover our guests. If they do, all our lives are at stake. My baby. Oh, Chris, Marty's on the other side of the store. I just know I can feel it. All right. But well, we're going to have to act fast. As soon as I open the door, we rush in, you grab Marty, and I'll take care of the woman, whether it's Beth or not. All right. You ready? On my count. One, two, three.
Where's the child? Where's the little boy? Where's my son? What is she saying? I don't know. We're looking for a little boy. He must have been here. We know this was his nursery. Where did he go? You work for Otto, don't you? Yes, Otto. Where did he take my son? You've got to be somewhere in this house. Please, I am begging you. Tell me where my son is. It's no use. She doesn't speak a word of English. Damn it. Tell me where my son is. No, you shut up and you tell me where they took Marty. Sharon, leave her alone. She doesn't know anything. This is where my son has been living. I know it, Chris. I, I can feel it. Sharon, we can be found any moment now. That cleaning lady's gonna go for help. We have to get out of here. Look. What is it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Chris. Now I know Marty is here. First we found those travel documents with Beth and Marty's names, and now this. Look. There's no doubt in my mind. My son is here. Marty's somewhere in this house. We just have to find him. I know, but... We have to make sure that we don't get found first, okay? So just keep your eyes open. Someone's coming. I don't hear anything. Me neither. I must have gone the other way. Let's go. No, Chris, wait. What is it? It just felt a chill. Are you all right? I guess, but... Marty's somewhere nearby. I can feel it. Sh Sharon, there's no one else in this room. Not that we can see. What's behind this tapestry? It's a hidden door. Hidden for a reason. I bet that reason is Marty. This door is going to lead us to my son. Chris, it's locked. We have to get into wherever this door leads. I'm sure Marty is hidden in there somewhere. Well, stand back. I'll try and force it. found the door. Come on, Budge. We have to get in there. Okay, I'll try again. You did it! Come on, let's go inside. Hang on, wait. It's dark. We don't know what's on the outside of that door. I don't care. Marty could be in there. Look, just wait here, stand guard, and I'll go and check it out first, okay? All right, be careful. I will. Do you see anything? Not yet. It's too dark. Chris, what was that? Are you all right? Oh my God, Chris! Chris! Otto, bad news. What happened now? They found the door to the hidden room. What? Yeah, I just saw him trying to break the door down now. Do you know what this means? Do you know what they will find when they get into that hidden room? Yes, Otto. Well, it's over. Is there no other way? No. I have strict orders from Alistair. 
I know what I must do in this situation. Alistair Crane's in a coma. He might not recover. I told you, Alistair has ways of punishing those who disobey his orders, whether he's in a coma or not. Prepare to evacuate our people immediately. I have no choice but to blow this house sky high. And everyone in it will be blown to bits. Wait, Sharon. It's dark and we don't know what's in there. We have to go in there. Yeah, now you just wait here, stand guard, and I'll go and check it out first. All right, but be careful. I will. Do you see anything? Not yet. It's too dark. What was that? Chris, are you all right? Chris! Chris, answer me. Tell me you're OK. Once I start the destruct sequence, that's it. There's no way to stop the place from blowing sky high. So before I do this, are you positive that Sheridan and Booth found the hidden corridor? Yes, Otto. The drapery over the door was moved, and Booth was at the door trying to break it down. If they're not in the corridor yet, they will be soon. And then they'll find our guests. Damn it! I have no choice but to follow Mr. Crane's orders. I have to destroy this place along with Sheridan and Booth and the guest. Still in it. Sheridan cannot live to see her heart's desire. Chris! Chris, I need to know if you're okay! Chris! Sharon, I'm okay. I, I tripped over something and fell. Must have zoned out for a second. My goodness, I thought something terrible happened to you. I'm still in one piece. What did you trip over? I don't know. I'm trying to find it now. Don't worry about that. We've got to find Marty and get out of here. Oh, my God. What is it? It's a body. I tripped over someone's body. Is it Marty? Is he alive? My little boy can't be dead. Please tell me you found Marty alive. Whoever this is, they're still breathing. It's Marty. It has to be. Sheridan, it's not Marty. It's definitely an adult. Are you sure? Positive. Oh, Marty, where are you? I promise, Mr. Crane. Sherrod would never see that guest. So like it or not, I have to keep that promise. Go round up the others. Prepare them to leave the compound immediately. When I hit that button, we won't have much time to get out of here before this entire place blows sky high. Yes, Otto. Damn you, Alistair. Damn you for making me kill your own daughter and those two people near and dear to her. The person Chris found isn't Marty. Who else could it be? <sighs> Beth. Oh my god, it could be Beth. <sighs> Chris! Is the person you found a woman? If it is, it might be my half-sister Beth. It's too dark to see in here. I'll bring them out. Hurry, we still have Otto and his people to worry about before we find Marty. <sighs> He's still breathing. Whoever you found must know where Marty is. Oh, God, forgive me.
Forgive me. I never wanted it to end this way. Warning. Warning. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. All personnel will activate the compound at once. Hurry! We have to get out of here! 18 minutes. Who is it? Sharon, come on. We have to get out of here while there's still time. What about Marty? We can't save him if we're both dead. Now, come on. We've got to get out of here right now. Make sure you secure the doors behind us. If we lock the doors from the outside, our uninvited guests will not make it out. That's the idea. When this house explodes, they must be blown to smithereens along with it. We'll make sure that they're trapped. There's no escape. I'm not leaving you here, Sharon. You're my wife. One of us has to get out of here and take care of James and Marty when I find him. Look, you can't ask me to abandon my son. I'm not asking you. I am telling you we have no choice. We don't even know that Marty is still here. Please, don't argue with me. I can't go. I can't leave my son. Listen to me. We don't even know that Marty is still here. Arani's henchmen could have gotten him out by now. You don't know that. It only makes sense. They wouldn't hide him all this time only to kill him in, in an explosion they set themselves. Think about it. They've gone through too much trouble looking after him all this time only to lose him now. Please, not to mention the fact he's your son, Alistair Crane's grandson. Please, Sherry, come with me now so we have another chance to find your son. Otherwise, you're going to die here. <laughs> and Marty will never know his real mother. And I know you don't want that. Warning. Warning. Please, come with me now. All personnel evacuate the compound at once. Detonation will occur in five minutes. Faster! The house is going to explode in seconds. The man and woman inside. You think for one minute I enjoy the cold-blooded murder of three people. You're wrong. Three? You forget the third guest. The one we left behind, close to death, but still alive? Not for long, I fear. One. One. The self-destruct sequence has... Hurry, Chris! I'm coming! Just get as far away from the house as possible. But you've got to get out now! I will. Just get away from the house. Hurry! I can't lose you! I can't! Just go! Yeah. <laughs> 
Christian, make it out before the bomb went off. No. Please, God, no! Oh, Chris. You Thank God. I thought I lost you. You didn't think you're getting rid of me that easy, do you? I just got you to marry me. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Good. Is your sea still breathing? I didn't check. We can look now. I'll do that. You try and find a car that we can use to go off to Auto. Okay, save Marty. Maybe we can catch up to him. Tonight, The Biggest Loser is all new at its new time, 8, 7 central, as Navy wives take on Marine wives. I'm so proud of him. I want him to be proud of me. Then, an all new Law & Order starts with the murder of a millionaire and leads to a little girl who can put away the killer. We'll go to jail? But what happens when the killer is her own mommy? Ain't enough money in the world to keep you out of jail. Law & Order, all new, tonight on NBC. Deal or no deal. All new episodes every Monday and Friday at 8, 7 central on NBC.